What's up, everybody? Go, Burns! On the job! That's right, I work. Okay? Surprisingly, I have a job here. Gerald hired Janine and myself to go in the tank and deal with some people that have been talking trash about him. They say he talks too much. Oh, he got pissed about that. Then they said he pays jack shit. Oh, you should have saw his face when they heard that one. Then, of course, the worst of the worst, they criticize the man's culinary skills. Unfreaking believable. So we're coming over here to the barber shop and um, have a few words with Big T. That's right. This is going to be the last haircut he ever gets. We're chopping a lot off the top. Boom! <laughs> okay, maybe a little too much off the top there. <laughs> Just a little. So now we're on a timer in order to get to Little T to the checkpoint. And we're not exactly in a supercar, or sports car, or even a compact, so I don't know if we're going to make it in time. <laughs> hey, no risk, no reward, right? We want to do this right on Monday Misadventures, and that's why we're using a tank. Oh, hey, brothers! It's the Lost MC! Yeah! Don't worry, I'll take care of you bastards in a week or so, just like I did for uh, Lamar with uh, Rest in Peace Lost MC a few months ago, as well as Stab City. Mm-hmm. That's right. Lost MC going down in a hat trick. Because I'm all about SOA. That's right. Sam Crow for life, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyway, so we're coming up on about a minute. I honestly don't know if we're going to make it. I hope so. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm trying to not hit anything whatsoever in the hopes that the tank will make it to the checkpoint before time expires, the mission fails, and Gerald cries because we were unable to uh, deal with Little T and everyone else that has it coming on this Monday because, you know what, Gerald is having a case of the Mondays and he could use some cheering up right now and Janine and me could use a paycheck. That's right, we could use some money, some fat stacks, some Benjamins, yeah. So we made it to the checkpoints. That's a good thing. Little T, you're going down. We're taking your sorry ass out. What are you doing, you freaking patriot? What is this guy behind me doing? You think you can actually take on a tank? What the hell is wrong with you? Ah, no, 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 you... Mm. That's it. You're dead. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Blasted him to bits. <laughs> oh, man, now there's a bus behind me being an a-hole. Okay, you want a little something-something bus? I got a little surprise for you. Open wide, you bitch! <laughs> I'll teach them. All right, so we're going to, uh, I think we're going to cut across the road here. Yes, we are. All right, stop. Stay right there. Okay. And uh, try and catch up with Little T and his escort, his posse, his uh, homies, his pals, his compadres. It's the only way we're going to be able to catch him because if we stayed on the road, we weren't. He was going to be in North Yankton by the time, you know, we ever got to him. <laughs> or chilling in Vice City or all the way back in Liberty City. Who knows where he might have ended up. So we kind of cut it off a little bit, but unfortunately I don't know if we're going to be able to catch him right here. Ah, shit, they're getting away. Damn it! Ah. All right, but the good news is we're closer now. We're much, much closer, and we're going to get him. I have got faith. Oh, yes! All right, one of them is over here trying to set up an ambush. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Really? You're going to try and ambush a tank, sir? Ah, what a moron. <laughs> <laughs> That's Darwinism in action, folks. <laughs> one down, one to go. Little T thinks he can escape from Janine, GB, and the tank. Well, he's got another thing coming. I'll teach him for talking trash about Mr. Gerald. Because you don't do that to Gerald. He's a nice guy. He's very friendly. And I just can't believe that you would accuse Gerald, of all people, of talking too much. He doesn't really say anything. And uh, Lil T ain't going to say anything ever again because he's dead. <laughs> he's gone, folks. <laughs> he's gone to that big pixel thing in the sky or wherever NPCs go when they get, uh, you know, despawned and blown to bits. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so we're heading to the farm. Yes, we are for our next target, our next quarry. And don't forget, coming up, Q&A 13.0 is this Friday. You still have a chance to submit your question below in the comment section. Twitter or Facebook, but you better do it soon or you won't be included. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. And here we are at the farm. I wonder what they exactly grow at the farm. You think they grow turnips? I doubt it. <laughs> Probably some of the green stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's ganja man, yeah. <laughs> and look at the ballers. What the F is wrong with you guys? Really? Are you guys just stupid or something? Or are you 
on something? Are you honestly think you can take out a tank with some 9 mils and some SMGs? I mean, what the F, guys? Come on, get with it. At least come at me with a grenade or a sticky bomb or a rocket launcher or something. Oh, yeah, this is going to go well for you guys. SUVs never win against a tank. Never. <laughs> never bring an SUV to a tank fight. And we took out small F. That's right, three down, one to go. We're heading to the motel. A lovely five-star establishment nestled in the beautiful metropolis known as Sandy Shores. <laughs> Uh, what a great place to live and raise a family. And the job opportunities in Sandy Shores are just phenomenal. A lot of uh, businesses over there that you can go work for, like uh, TPI. You know, it's a big uh, multinational conglomeration ran by you know, the one Mr. Phillips, uh, who's very well known, very well respected. He's a very nice guy, even nicer than Gerald. And, oh, God, Janine, watch where you're going. <laughs> Uh, see, she's driving, I'm shooting. Or am I driving and she's shooting? I, I get confused. Of course, I'm always confused. <laughs> but we got to focus, Janine. We only have two minutes to get to the hotel. Hopefully, that's plenty of time in order to take out our final target. You know, make Gerald's day and get some moolah, some cash, because we need the money, because uh, Halloween's right around the corner. In fact, first of Halloween... I mean, the 1st of October is coming up soon. We made it to the motel, and all we got to do is take out Terrence. I wonder what he did to piss off Philip. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, and Terrence bit it, so Philip is probably a happy camper. He gets the Queef sisters all to himself now. That's right. <laughs> that was Terrence's evil little plan. And the ballers are once again shooting at us with 9 mils. <laughs> Unbelievable. Honestly. I mean, think about this. Eventually, it's going to get to the point in, in, in gaming when they actually program the NPCs to have some sort of intelligence. Like, if you're an NPC and somebody, you know, just shows up, you know, just with regular weapons, okay, it's a fight. But if they show up in a bloody tank, it's going to be a massacre. It's going to be a bloodbath. You think the NPCs would be running for their life now? Like, oh, shit, we're out of here. You think they'd be hitting the fucking road? But nope. They think they can stay the course in this crummy motel. Oh, man, there's a big, giant military tank outside, and we're protected by this POS, you know, rodent-ridden dilapidation of a hotel, or motel, whatever, with nine mils and maybe a few SMGs. Yeah, that, that's going to work out really well, guys. <laughs> My money's on you. No, it's not. So all I got to do is take out the rest of the ballas, and uh, we get paid. All right, so anyways. Oh, shit. See, the, the ballers are kind of like the Lost MC2. No matter how many you kill, they keep coming back. And, and just like the LSPD on most Mondays. I don't get that. I mean, if I was in the Lost MC and my brothers kept getting killed, if I was in the ballas and my homies kept getting, you know, capped, or if I was in, a cop in the LSPD and I kept hearing stories about tanks, you know, running over cop cars and, you know, blowing up fellow uh, men and women in uniform, I think I'd find something else to do, you know. Maybe, um, I don't... Oh, shit! What the... Uh, freaking hotel. Well, what, what else would be a better um, occupation than being a biker, a gangbanger, or a cop in this game? <laughs> Let me know below in the comment section. If you had to live in the game while I try and get out of here... No, no! Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> what would your occupation be? I know that's probably not an original question, but if you had to pick any of the jobs that you've seen in the game that NPCs do, what would it be? <laughs> it would definitely not be those three. No the hell way. <laughs> what would it, I'm, I'm trying to think. What would be a job? Okay, let me get this guy. Right. Yes, got him. And another one bites the dust. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit, we're flipped over, Janine. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Can we get over? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, trying to get the tank rolled back over. If not, we're going to have to go it alone. We're going to have to get out of the tank, and we're going to have to go solo. One-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we did it. Hooray. <laughs> uh, that was nice. Okay, so a few more ballas remain, and 
once we get them taken out, then we can call it a night. Janina and I can go get our paycheck, and uh, we can go dance the night away. Perfect way to kick off a Monday, right? Especially since it's the last stinking week of September. Uh, I'm so glad fall's here, even though the weather apparently hasn't arrived yet. Hopefully it will soon. All right, Janine, I don't think we're going to get the rest of the ballers. We're just going to have to go in. That's right. We can do this. Let's get pumped. You can do it, girl. You go, girl. Take him out. That's right. See, she's the real hero, not Caitlyn Jenner. She's the one who's stunning and brave. <laughs> okay, so all right, so I'm going to be fair. I'm going to make it interesting, and we're going to use the musket to take out the three remaining ballas. Okay, all right, because that's a little bit more challenging than using the assault shotgun. All right, so here we go. All right, come on, come on. Ah, shit. Come on. Pick your head up. Oh, and another balla drops. Two left. All right, come on, Janine. Be smart. Be sneaky. Be careful. We are so close to victory here. I can taste that money. All that digital money. Who knows how much we're going to get paid. We're probably going to get paid a lot of money since, uh, you know, we did use a tank instead of a helicopter. <laughs> okay. We're going in. YOLO, bitches. Oh, he's down. One left. All right. Come on, Janine. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think she's going to need a bath after this. I mean, that, this hotel stinks. Plus, who knows what the hell is in this hotel. <laughs> I don't want to know. Ugh. Asbestos, you know, just to begin with. All right, come on, come on, Janine. Come on. Take your time. Focus, focus. And come on. Yeah, she got it. She did it. It's over. We beat. Hit um up with the effing tank and the musket. So good job, Janine. 18 Gs in her pocket. Gerald does pay well.